Hello everybody, today we are doing Focus Zoda, um, Tenari's story quest. So, yeah, I hope you enjoy. Let's get started. Traveler, you've come at a good time. Wait, this sounds like another commission. <laughs> it is as you say. The commission this time around is of high importance. It pertains to the safety of the Avidia Forest's inhabitants. Huh? What happened? Not long ago, we received word that a section of the Avidia Forest seems to have become... contaminated. Contaminated? You mean... a new withering zone? I don't know about the specifics, but I hear that strange things are happening to people who cross through that region. The Avidia Forest inhabitants won't leave their home so easily. If we allow this contaminated region to expand, the consequences could be unimaginable. That's why I want to ask you to investigate the situation. Even if all you can do is stop the contamination from spreading, that will still save many people. This is forest business. Hmm. Maybe Tainari will know something. Let's go find him! They should really have a teleport waypoint in Gundarvaville. Just saying, because you go to Gundarvaville a lot. I suppose the teleport waypoint is closed though, so. But they should have one like right in it. This is where you've been, Tanya? your voice down. Tainari, everything's spinning. Am I going to die? <laughs> Tell mom that I should have listened to her. Oh, I don't even know this canyon. I feel bad so bad. And tell Suna that I'm sorry for breaking her toy. I didn't tell her because I was scared that she wouldn't play with me anymore. Tainari, I heard that people turn into birds after they die. Is that true? I feel like I'm getting lighter. What happened? Kind of okay, okay, enough nonsense. You just have a small fever. Take your <laughs> medication and rest. You'll be bouncing off the walls in no time. Really? Then can you keep the thing about the toy a secret for now? Uh, no can do. You're a big kid now. Once you've recovered, go and apologize. Keeping secrets to yourself won't solve anything. Oh. Hmm. Hey, let me ask you something. I recall that you're usually pretty healthy. How did you get this sick all of a sudden? I don't know either. Mom's been telling me not to play in the forest. I just wanted to look inside. It's different from before. I got lost and went around in a huge circle. After I got out, I, I started feeling dizzy. Could it be? The contaminated region? Hmm. So that's how this whole mess happened. Anyway, go rest. No running around until I say so. Got it? Traveler, Paimon, let's step out for now. Mr. Forest Watcher, how is my son? I gave him some antipyretics. Let him rest here for a while. I told him that he would feel better after some medicine and rest. But I only said that to comfort him. His symptoms resemble a fever, but something else is causing them. They seem more akin to a disruption in his psyche. Antipyretics won't be of much use. What do we do? Mr. Forest Watcher, you have to help him. If memory serves, a plant called Vasanti grass can help soothe the mind. A small number grow in arid deserts. They usually look like shriveled weeds, but can be revitalized with a splash of water. They're expensive and unable to grow in the Avidia Forest's climate, 
so I don't have any on hand. I'll ask the caravans. Uh, go find Kale. Have her prepare medicinal tools and a set of traveling gear for me. All right. Thank you. Contaminated region. Hmm. Is that why you two are also here? Yep. Is it a new withering zone? Doesn't seem like one. Whether you look at scale, internal conditions, or resultant effects, they're completely different. The only thing they have in common is that they aren't welcome. This nuisance made itself home in the Avidia Forest, so I can't turn a blind eye. We feel the same way. All right. Let's contact the caravans first, and purchase some Vasanti grass. We can also ask about the contaminated region. There's no time to waste. We have to move quickly. Let's go. Excuse me. I'd like to purchase some Vasanti grass. Do you have any? <sighs> I'm sorry, Mr. Forest Watcher, but we've been closed for the past few days. Closed? Now that's odd. It's my first time hearing you say something like that. Uh, it's a long story. Some of our goods were stolen recently. They were mechanical parts that we got from the Academia. Although they're old models, they still fetch a good price on the market. Our caravans had to pull together Mora to afford those parts. Now that they've been lost, we'll likely come up short this trip. All the merchants talked it over and we decided to raise the prices of our remaining inventory. Until this plan takes effect, none of us can privately sell anything. I don't get it. If these goods are so important, then why not think of a way to get them back? Raising prices won't solve anything. At best, you're shoving the consequences of the robbery onto your customers. Mr. Forest Watcher, it's not that we don't want to. It's just the thief disappeared into the deepest parts of the forest. We asked around, and apparently the forest has been very unusual as of late. Anyone who goes in experiences mental anomalies. We can't keep waiting out here for the thief to come out. All we could do is come up with another solution. So the bandit hid in the contaminated region after stealing those mechanical parts? How many people were there in total? Were they not affected by the contaminated region? That crook came from the contaminated region. As for how many, uh, there weren't any people. No people? Uh, even if I tell you, you might not believe me. Uh, I'm fine. The thief that stole our parts was a huge mechanical crab. What the heck? The Avidia Forest has creatures like that? Didn't see any in the Avidia Forest field guide. Uh, to be honest, I'd rather not think about it. It moved too skillfully to be new at this. It came out of nowhere. Before we could react, it swiped our goods and ran away. We were all shocked. By the time we came to our senses, the thief was already long gone. I see. If we help you retrieve your stolen goods, then business will return to normal? Oh, but of course! Uh, not only that, but you'll become one of our caravan's VIPs on all future purchases of any... Uh... Enough. Tell me something that's actually useful. Uh, any leads on that mechanical crap? Maybe one. After our goods were stolen, we specifically got someone to assess the situation. If you're interested, you can go and talk to them. All right, we'll go and have a word. After the goods were stolen, I made multiple inquiries with nearby caravans and residents. It turns out that many others have also been robbed by that crooked crab. However, the crab only seems to be interested in machinery. It doesn't even bat an eye at other valuables. A caravan carrying a large amount of mora had an uneventful trip, but another caravan had a child whose metal toy was taken. Whatever the case, that thing is a scourge. 
We'll eventually think of a way to get rid of it. That mechanical crab is fast, strong, and a pain to deal with. Ten of us might not even be able to take that thing head on. Didn't academia ban research on mechanical life forms years ago? Where did that thing come from? Our salaries even got slashed because of it. Ugh. Who would have thought that that robber wasn't a human, but a mechanical crab? This is rough. I heard from the caravanners that there have been a lot of robberies lately, but we haven't been affected. We don't normally see the mechanical crab, and it doesn't disturb our daily lives. It only shows up when the caravans are here, and it runs back to the contaminated region after it's done making a mess. You haven't tried capturing it? We have, but it's too agile and fast. However, we did unexpectedly learn something the last time we tried to capture it. It apparently lives in the deepest part of the forest, so instead of immediately moving its spoils, it first hides them nearby. Once its stash grows large enough, it moves everything in one go. You'll have to move fast if you want those goods back. How are things? Did you make any progress? We learned of its behaviors, but much still remains unclear. Assuming normal operational status, mechanical constructs generally act according to their given commands. If I were its owner, I'd command it to steal more valuable things, or the mora you made. That would be the most efficient method. But it only goes after mechanical components. This doesn't make any sense. Right! It's really weird! So... you all found a way to retrieve our goods? Do you have any more mechanical parts with you? Yes, I still have a small bag of samples. They weren't taken since I keep them on me at all times. Oh, are you planning to... Under constant external conditions, organisms rarely initiate changes in their habits. Here's what we know so far. It has mechanical composition, it lives in the contaminated region, and it comes out to steal mechanical components. If we have said components, we can lure it out capture it, and then make observations for further conclusions. Well, chatting like this won't get us anywhere. We're only wasting time. You're right. We don't have any other options right now. This bag of samples is all yours, Mr. Forest Watcher. If you can get our goods back, the caravans will reward you generously. We don't need anything in return, but I'll be keeping this bag. I may have other uses for it later. We'll also need to borrow a Sumpter Beast, our act has to be convincing if we want the crab to fall for it. Oh, yeah. No problem at all. If it means getting our things back, you can even borrow me to do whatever you need. I'll have to decline that offer. Anyway, <laughs> we'll use the mechanical components and Sumter Beast to pose as a transiting caravan and lure out the crab. Once it appears, capture it. I leave the timing to you. Don't worry. We're professionals. Professionals like catching boar, maybe. Looking at the trade routes and the contaminated region's current perimeter, the goods were likely stolen somewhere around here. Then let's get to it. We'll definitely capture that criminal crab. Okay. We'll start from here and have the Sumter Beast with the components on board lead the way. This Sumter Beast isn't familiar with us yet, so be calm and take your time with it. Do we get to ride a Sumter Beast? The Sumter Beast went ahead! Oh, Let's keep we up don't. With it. It's uh, so cute! Why did it stop? Hmm. Looks like it's loafing around. Or maybe it's hungry. The caravanners grew disheartened after their goods were stolen, so they probably didn't feed the. Alright, it's moving again! Uh, did you hear something? Ah! Is that the mechanical crab the caravan was talking about? It's charging straight at us! It looks strong. 
Be careful. Shine down. One with wind and cloud. Don't waste my time. There is no escape. Inazuma shines eternal. doesn't seem to understand us. Hmm. It doesn't seem capable of comprehending complex questions. Keep an eye on it. I'll search around the area for the caravan's goods. I don't know why you're stealing mechanical parts, but they don't belong to you. Stolen items must be returned to their rightful owners. Any objections? It looks sad. You came from the depths of the contaminated region, right? How about you help us with something? If you take us there, I'll give you some mechanical parts as a reward. It reacted! Does it understand us? Hmm, we can't be certain yet. Its excitement may be a simple programmed response upon seeing mechanical components. Okay. So you want the crowd to lead us into the contaminated region? That's right. The contaminated region has a large and currently expanding perimeter, so it would be difficult to conduct a thorough search. If we charge straight in, we'll get lost like headless pigeons. Also, our new friend here seems to be full of secrets. I've been studying this contaminated region recently, and I have a hypothesis of my own. So to be absolutely safe, it would be best to have a guide lead the way. Paimon gets it now. Um, does this scuttler understand what you're saying? It doesn't have to, as long as it isn't hostile towards us. I gave it some components that it will definitely take back to the contaminated region. So long as it doesn't attack us, we can simply follow along. It seems to be really happy. Listen to me. Wait for us here. No running off. We'll be back soon. If you're still here when we return, I'll give you another mechanical part as a reward. Understood? Does that count as understanding us? I'm not sure. But our priorities are to retrieve the mechanical components and to purchase Fasanti grass to make medicine with. We should return. But before we do, we need to set up a few traps. Can't have that crab escaping. Mechanical parts that were stolen! You really got them back for us! Oh, thank you all so very much. I don't know how I can repay you. Wait, didn't you want to purchase Vasanti grass? Don't worry about the price. They're on the house. How many do you need? Uh, two is enough. No, that won't do. Here, I'll throw in some more. No need. I've already received a reward from you. Reward? You mean that bag of mechanical parts? Ah, uh, they aren't worth much compared to this merchandise. Ah, uh, but those parts are very useful to me. Just like the Vasanti grass. I retrieved the things you needed, and you gave me what I needed in return. We're even. <laughs> oh, and before we go, just a reminder. The forest has an intricate and biodiverse ecosystem. Even if there were no mechanical crabs, other dangers are still present. Take caution on this route. Noted. Thank you all ever so much. Let's return to the village. The earlier we can give the child medicine, the sooner he'll start feeling better. Alright, that's where we're gonna end part one. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Illusion Goodbye! Shot.